and I have a lot to do. <laughs> Not so EA, but you know, we'll get it done. I went to the store. Hang on, let me flip you around. I went to the store today. I have more down here. This is from my trip. I still need to unpack. These are my vitamins. I have a ton of laundry to do. I'm just taking out the tour of what I need to accomplish. Uh, my bed is unmade because I need to change the sheets. And I just threw the blanket down there. I still need to unpack my bag. <clears throat> Excuse me. Unpack my bag. Um, it's mostly dirty clothes, so almost all of it will be going into... Actually, you know what? Let's just do it right this second. So I don't gotta do it later. Oh. And there's miso soup in here. I almost forgot about that. It's miso paste. The only clean things that were left are these pants. And this shirt. The rest is dirty. I'm gonna get it put in the laundress. Okay. It's not easy with one hand. There we go. Laundry. Oh my goodness. That was a a trip. <laughs> um yeah, I made it home safe and sound. Uh, the bus wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. The most challenging thing was getting some sleep. I picked up a pillow when I was in Salem because the first night I slept or tried to sleep, it, I had a like a an armrest. There's an armrest on the door or on the like the wall of the bus. And you can't lift it up. You can lift the outside one, you can lift the middle one, but not the one that's against the wall. So it was pressing into my back and I got like a bruise against my spine, which didn't feel very good. So I picked up a pillow, that worked just fine. I managed to get some better sleep. Not a ton, but you know, it was better at least than the first night. Um not going to try to make this super long. I need to, I have so many videos I need to make. I need to free up some space on my phone before it starts deleting things so I can get videos made. So I'm going to do a quick grocery haul and then I will chit chat more when I make the, or free up some space. <laughs> I'll be right back when I put all these groceries out. All right, so here we go. I'm not using the little handy today because I just want to get it all done so I can get on with with everything else that I need to do. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do a quickie. This is all from what I bought in Salem right here. Um, this, these bags are from Winco Foods. This is nutritional yeast. And I, it was four sixty-eight a pound. This I buy at Smith's and it's five ninety nine for 4.5 ounces, so better deal at Winco. This is a pound. It cost, or I'm sorry, this it's $9.98 a pound. But still, a pound for $9.98 and four ounces for $5.99. Much better deal. This is organic coconut, and it was $3 a pound, and I got like a, I don't know, half pound. This is um, Lakanto monk fruit sweetener with erythritol. Um, I usually get the little bags and they are like $8.99 for eight ounces. This is a pound and it was the one that was $4.48. So Lakanto sweetener for $4.48 for a whole entire pound. And of course, you know what this is, my favorite. I needed it because I was cooking at my son's and it's 79 cents a pound there 
for a pink Himalayan salt. Then I picked these up at Walmart. These are one of my favorite um, keto chips. They're called Bake Believe and they don't have them here. So I got the dark chocolate and I got the semi-sweet. I love the color of this bag. Um, I always get them when I go down there and I bring them back with me. Then this is Lakanto um, maple flavored syrup with monk fruit. And I love this stuff and it is normally $7.99 here, but it was $4.99 at Grocery Outlet there. And then I picked this up because I was trying to make miso soup and um, I, they, I couldn't find unrefined coconut oil. So I got this. Um, it is avocado spray oil. I just put it in my, I sprayed it in my miso soup, literally just, psh, and it was $3.99. And I don't know how much it is, like here, I'll have to look it up. And then I also, at Winco, picked up this miso soup, which is one of my favorites. Cold Mountain Light Yellow Miso. I always pick up one of these when I go and bring it home with me. That was what was wrapped up in my luggage. <laughs> okay, and then this I got today. This is Smith's, of course. You know from my favorite tags. And I picked up two of these guys and they were 89 cents. They are my usual mushrooms. And then I picked up this natural ground turkey, and it was four seventy two. And I saved seventy five cents, so that's not bad. Um, I picked up another of these. This is my coconut milk yogurt, and it is six ninety nine. I got this as a snack. Faye. And um, that was $1.25. And then I got this to make, I'm making some cupcakes for a baby shower. And I like to use this as the icing. Um, this was $2.19. Then I got this um, coconut silk. And it was, um, I know it was on sale because it was a mega event, so I saved an extra dollar on it. And where is it? Silk coconut milk, $2.49. So I saved a dollar with this. Um, and then I got some grape tomatoes, because you know I can't not get them. And those were $2.69. And then I picked this guy up because it was also save a dollar. And that was $3.49. Um, these two guys were buy one, get one, uh, $8.99. So I saved $8.99. And these are supposed to be really good. They are Bobby approved. So I got the Everyday Shea Shampoo. And I got the Everyday Coconut Shampoo. And they were $8.99 a piece, but I only paid $8.99 for both. And I've only been using shampoo lately, so we're going to see how long this lasts. And then I got my usual pork rinds. Because, you know, I can't stay away from them. They were $2.06 after my discount. This was another um, buy five, save five. So... It was $5.49. And they're, I gotta move this and show you. They're colors, I love him. I used to have chickens that laid these kind of, these colored eggs, so they're brown and blue or greenish color, whatever color you wanna. You can call them whatever color you want. I won't fight ya. Then I got some lilies. Yes, I got a lot of chips because they've been on sale. Those are $5.99 right now. Normally they are $7.99, so I got a ton. These I picked up for Halloween. I don't get a lot of trick-or-treaters, so I picked up a regular Hershey, a Reese's, a Hershey with almond, an Almond Joy, and a Caramello. They were um, buy five, and you got them for $0.79 cents each. 
So that's what's going to be handed out at my house. I only got five because I honestly have not had a single trick-or-treater in forever. So we'll see if we get anyone. And if they come, they're going to get one of these. So that's what that's for. And if I don't get any trick-or-treaters, I'm just going to put them in like care packages or whatever. And then we got the regular, usual Ma Coconut Milk. And that one was $2.42. So I got two of those. And then this is um, Walmart. I went to Walmart. And I got my... Oh, um, at Smith's. I don't remember how much I spent at... I think it was like $29. But I also got some other things that I ate at like Winco and stuff. So it's that wasn't the total. But I spent... $65.34, and look at how much my savings were. What? $24.77. That's pretty darn good. Alright, and then Walmart, I spent $57.15. But I had, um, I also have a bag, a 10 pound bag of bird food. It's still in my car, I need to go get it. And that is $9.68, so it's missing from all of this. I didn't get a lot at Walmart for $57. Really, Walmart? What are, I mean, 60, what was it, 65, 34, right here for Smith's, and 57 for Walmart. I mean, I don't have the bag of bird food, but really come on Walmart so we have some bone broth my chicken bone broth um, this was and that was 282 this is birch benders brownie mix keto um, I'm gonna make this for a baby shower that I'm going to not mine unfortunately yet soon um, let me see, I think it was $6.92, yeah, right there, $6.92. Um, I got this, I was gonna eat it on the way home and I forgot about it. This, these are really good. They're local made, good ingredients. And it was $1.78. I got myself some grass-fed ghee. It is not the pink Himalayan salt, but it was only $11.49. I got two avocados. And then I got some more happy eggs. And those were $5.72. So I actually got a better deal at Smith's than here. But I got them anyway. These ones are organic, but these ones are pretty. Um, so it's a pretty good price for the organic ones. Um, these avocados were $0.77 cents or $0.78 cents each. They cost, yeah, $0.78. Cents right there a dollar 56 for the two and then this the Hershey's uh, all of this candy is for the trunk or treat at my church tomorrow this one the Hershey miniatures was 2.98 and then this bag was 3.78 these are Twix three musketeers and Milky Ways and then this 90 piece bag was 9.68 or no I'm, that's that's the bird food 9.94 so that one is Hershey's Almond Joy Reese's um, Whoppers Milk Duds Kit Kats so hopefully this will be enough for the church thing this is for my home trick or treat church trick or treat and that's my entire whole dramatic flair. I'm battling the glare. But um, I'm going to go put all this stuff away. And then, I don't know what I'm going to do. Put something else away. <laughs> put the groceries away. Put something else away. It's going to be a thing for the next few days. And, uh, I'll bring you along with me. I think I'm also going to make some dinner because all I've had to eat today was 
I don't know, miso soup I had left over, and some nuts. I'm pretty sure that's it. Alright, I will uh, get back to you when I put all this junk away and eat something. Alright, I'm going to see how much of this uh, nutritional yeast here from Winco will fit into this jar. I had, to, I had to snip the top off because the bags are like really, really long and it's hard to pour when they're really, really long. So let's see how much nutritional yeast. I've got a little bit more than a pound because I know it was a little bit more than the like pound price. Is it all gonna fit? I don't know, maybe. a good hack for getting more stuff to fit in the jar. If you whack it, it will kind of settle everything. You can also hit it on the bottom and it just kind of settles everything. It even like makes it lay down flat. It's like really weird. Let's see how much more we can get in there. Maybe all of it. Maybe not. Nope. I guess we'll leave it at that. I want to be able to fit my scoop in there. Here's what's left of the pound. I don't know how much it weighs. I could pull out my scale, but I'm not gonna. But there. Perfect. I will tie the sky back up. I'll probably end up using this little bit first and just leaving this guy jarred up. I can just pour this little bit into this bag, I think. Maybe. That's how much I use. It's a tablespoon. Let's see if it will fit. very full but it fits and it will even close. Ta-da! Alright, I got the groceries put away. I did not get the clothes washed yet so I didn't finish. I made the bed but I didn't change the sheets because they're in the laundry. And I will do that tomorrow. Right now, I'm going to wash the dishes, clean the kitchen, and take the trash out. Because as you will see, it's a bit of a mess in there. Here's where I am right now. 
old me would have been really upset coming home and finding things a bit disarrayed, if you will. I just read an article, a relationship article, I know this is like, meh, let's turn this way a little bit more. There. <laughs> So I read an article and it, the title of it, what made it was an email, but it was an article, if that makes sense. Um, I'm using my selfie stick tripod, so that's why it's like wiggling all over the place. Um, it was titled something like, do you want to have sexy time with your mom or something like that? And that, of course, of course, I'm gonna see what that's all about because no, I don't. <laughs> but um, in the article, it's basically talking about how we, as women, tend to treat our husbands like their mother and nag them and you know carry on and I came to the realization that I I do that unfortunately and it's in an effort to keep things neat and tidy the way I want them not the way he wants them and that's where the problem lies with a lot of relationships and uh, situations where you're trying to keep things the same. I want things to be a certain way and I expect him to do it and I nag him when I don't get that. So the best way for me to achieve this goal without nagging and without giving him grief is just to do it myself and not complain about it. So when I got home and I saw you, you're, you'll see what I, what I encountered when I got home. Um, my first instinct was to nitpick throw fit, um, you know, the, the, the usual, the thing, the thing that we do, complain, ask why it's not clean, and nag. But you know, I just got back from a trip, he was happy that I'm home, do I really want to go down that road? and make him feel like he would wish that I didn't come home. <laughs> you know, these are the things that I think about. I've learned to pause and consider what I'm going to say or do before I say or do it, which helps a lot. I used to want a time machine so I could stop like take back things that I've said that I didn't really like their response I got from them but this is the next best thing because I don't have a time machine but just being still and being quiet and thinking it's like the next best thing to a time machine because you can literally hold time and think about your actions so is it a big deal to me to get home and clean the house? Not really. Is it a filthy, disgusting, dirty mess? Not, not really. It's just not the way I want it to be. But that is my situation, you know? 
that is my deal, my issue, not his. He's fine. He had no problem with it, clearly, because that's how it is. Um, so yeah, I can start an argument, make him feel bad, and possibly make him wish that I was still on vacation, or I can clean it myself which is what I'm choosing to do. If you would make a different choice, awesome, that's cool. This is what works best for me. Could I create a situation where he does those things? Probably. Would he like it? I'm gonna say a big fat no on that one. And what kind of relationship would that give me? I was already controlling in my past and manipulative. I don't want to be that way anymore. So if it's important to me to have things spotless and clean, that responsibility lies on me. And I know it's counterintuitive. You want to say, no, he should do this. He should do that. Shooting people is not a good thing because nobody should do anything. They do what they do, and we treat them the way that the story in our mind tells us to treat them. Well, the story in my mind says, I just came home to my husband who loves me and is excited to see me. Do I really want to crush that loving feeling so that I can make him feel bad? Nope, I don't. Will I clean it anyway? Mm -hmm. I do it every day. Do I like it clean to my specifications? Yes. Who is the only person in the world who can clean to my specifications? Me. Me, 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 me. So who is the best person to clean the things to my specification? Again, that would be me. He does things that I ask him to. And I have to be willing to accept things the way that he does them. That is the double-edged sword. So just remember that if you ask somebody to do something and they don't do it the way that you want it done, then you should do it. I know. You, your brain wants to scream and say, no, he should do this. My partner or husband or boyfriend or girlfriend should do this as I say. They aren't children. We're all adults. And that only leads to resentment and conflict and contempt. So what do you want in your life? Joy or Resentment, contempt, and conflict. I choose joy. So, I'm going to do it. Anyway, after 10 minutes, let me show you what we've got going on. Let me turn on the light in the kitchen. It's really not much. It's just not what I want. Let me turn around. The stove is a little messy because he makes toast. Okay, so that's that. There's some smudges on the fridge. My fridge, by the way. Is it still empty? No, not really. Not entirely. I need to clean it out though. But that's my, my thing. See, it's like, it got some little gunk in there. I need to give it a cleaning. But that's not what we're doing today. Let's see, there's a spot on the floor, I think it is heavy cream, and there are some crumbs. Crumbs. 
Oh, and the trash can is dirty. And full, but I filled it with uh, stuff, so. Because I like to clean it every single night, like after I'm done, you know, throwing stuff away, so. And then I have some dishes, but most of these are mine. Um, that I took my miso soup in on the trip and I made myself dinner. And that's my husband's coffee cup. All in all, it's not that bad. I mean, really, um, the bathroom needs a little spot cleaning, but it's not terrible. And I need to change the sheets, but I didn't do that before I left, so. I left him with the dirty sheets, but he doesn't care, so. <laughs> Um, I usually change them every week and I just waited. Oh, the coffee pot needs to be... <clears throat> Hang on, let me show. Let me see if you can see it. Let me turn on the light. See? I give it a good wipe down every day. And it's kind of messy around here also. So I just need to uh, straighten up everything. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, right now I'm going to do just the kitchen and then tomorrow at, when I do laundry um, I will get to the making the bed and I'll bring you in with me when I do that. But let me change to the tripod and uh, we're going to wash some dishes. And this this box right here has my um, stuff from Winco. So that will go in the pantry. The bags are really like thin and they rip open really easily. So I figured if I put them in that, they will be protected while I wait for them to go somewhere. Now on to dishes.
I am done for today. Let me show you what we accomplished here. Spick and span trash can. This is dirty. I need to put more paper towels up, but this is clean. No more crumbs. No more spots. Clean microwave. Clean refrigerator. And finally, a clean sink. And a clean copy maker. And this area is clean too. <laughs> And I don't think it took very long at all. Not much time at all, really. Maybe 20, 30 minutes. I wasn't really counting, but it didn't seem like very long. So I will be back tomorrow with a wardrobe change and more cleaning. I still have the bedroom, the bathroom, litter box, but I never show you guys the litter box. I don't think anybody wants to see that happening. <laughs> um, and laundry. Not too shabby. And then tomorrow night is the trunk or treat at church. So, I will see you tomorrow. Alrighty, it is officially day two. It's Friday. And I got back yesterday. So, I'm still straightening up the house from my after my trip. Right now, I'm going to make some lunch real quick. And then, I'm going to tackle the laundry that I just finished. Um, I need to change the bed. I haven't made it yet because I need to um, change the sheets. I They're clean now, so that's gonna be today. So I'm gonna make some lunch and then we're gonna go put the clothes away and make the bed. Probably clean the bathroom tomorrow. Because I still have trunk or treat to get ready for. It was a soup, like a make a soup kind of thing. I just don't have time today to do that. I was gonna give it a bit my best shot, but I don't know what to make, and I don't really have time to contemplate it. Because <laughs> I have to make it by tonight at six o'clock, and I couldn't think of anything like quick and easy to make. Plus I wanted to be able to eat it and since I do keto, I found a recipe for a um, cauliflower, like leek, it's like leek and potato soup but it's made with cauliflower and I really want to try it. But today is not the day to be experimenting with that kind of things. I just didn't have time, I had too much to do so. It is what it is. I'm sure they will forgive me for not bringing the soup with me. So let's get started. I'm going to make some lunch here. Hubby already cooked his breakfast, so that's where the crumbs all came from. That's all right. I will get it cleaned up tonight. For lunch, I'm going to cook up this ground turkey. It'll probably have some veggies with it. I love this pan for cooking meat in. It's like just the right size, has the little like pour spout so I can dump off any extra liquids.
As you can see, my room is still dark. My husband was asleep, so I haven't opened everything up yet. Much better. All right, let's get this bed made. I'm not gonna make you uh, sit through me putting away all of these clothes because we already did that. All right, I put all the clothes away and now I'm gonna get the bed taken care of. I didn't want to bore you with another laundry. <laughs> laundry put away, so I just went ahead and put them away. Now we get to change the bed. Got the bed completed. So that just leaves the bathroom. I'm gonna wash up the dishes and get ready to go to the thing. I'll probably take a shower before I end up going. I just got this from Amazon and I'm gonna be giving it a try. They've been out of the DHEA that I normally take. I took two months off. Um, I'll probably just do a whole separate video on this, but um, they had been out of the DHEA that I normally get, which is Da Vinci Labs DHEA. I, it's in the, the video that I made about the supplements that I take, but they've been out of it, at, like out of stock for a while, so I haven't been able to use it, but I've heard that this is a topical kind. And I've heard that it is like you get more if you use the topical kind instead. I think this was $60 and it's um, a 90 day supply, like each pump, each, uh, you know, dispensed amount is 50 milligrams of DHEA. So I'm going to give this a try and uh, I'll do a video tell you how it goes I guess that um, the oral kind isn't as absorbable so you get a much lesser amount than you are you know what you're taking and I know for trying to conceive over 40 the recommended um, dosage is 75 milligrams and I've seen some places say to take that amount three times a day I don't know I only take 75 I was taking 75 I have only been taking 10 for the last two months so it says to only do that for six to eight weeks and uh, so I took two months off of doing that and I'm about to start taking it again. 
So we shall see. We shall see. Um. I think I'm going to end this video here. It's going to be long enough. <laughs> You've seen me clean the bathroom a million times, and it's not really that dirty. Actually, I can just take you in there and show you what's going on. Um, it's just the basics. But um, I'm pretty much caught back up from being on vacation. Oh, I know what I was going to show you. My nail. Let's see if it'll focus. Focus. It's not going to focus. Oh, let me get close. Let me try turning it around. Hang on. There we go. Look, I need to do my nails. <laughs> All that cuticle mess. But do you see right there? It's like... There's a crack. And it keeps snagging on everything, so I'm going to have to cut it. I think you can see right there, that white bit. I think when I was in the shower the other day, it was, my nail was wet and it bent. I'm just going to cut it right now. <clears throat> I think it bent the other day when I was in the shower. And when that happens, it gets a weak spot. It's right to stop focusing on other things right there. You can kind of see where my nail is catching on it. But it's going to drive me crazy. So if you are <laughs> if you are worried, look away. I'm about to clip this bad boy right off. My nails grow back so fast. And I've always had them long. There. That is that. Let's get this guy a little uh, trim up. Yeah, I need to like moisturize my hands. My cuticles are getting all dry and wonky and overgrown. I don't know how to do. Well, I do. I just don't like. There. This one right here broke a couple of weeks ago. I have footage of it. Maybe I'll insert it. <laughs> I did the same thing. Well, it snapped. I was putting the window down and um, it just like half snapped. So I had to cut the whole thing off. But this was like two weeks ago that it happened. So they'll be back to the regular length in a couple of weeks. All right, since I got you on the stick, I will Go to the bathroom. Not go to the bathroom, but head into the bathroom. <laughs> that sounds better. <laughs> Trying to put my tripod back where it belongs. And uh, show you what's going on in here. It's it's really pretty. Pretty okay. Uh, still pretty... Um, we got nail clippings back here, as usual. <laughs> and there's some hair on the back. And the toilet needs cleaning. I need to change the towel. Yeah, shower's not too bad. I need to clean the soap dish out. So, yeah. It is what it is, and um, I'll clean it tomorrow. It's almost 4.30, and the um, trunk or treat starts at 6. I want to get, I know I'm just moving all around. Um, I got this. Let me get it. 
all together. I'm getting a close up. I got this kitty bowl at the Dollar Tree to hand out treats. Oh, and I got, um, I got this thing. It's a tablecloth, but I figured I'd hang it in the back of my van, or my, it's not a van. My vehicle, whatever it is. Let's put some candy in this bucket. Oh, there's the uh, bird seed from yesterday. Yesterday's, or well, it's the same day for you guys. <laughs> well, the same video anyway. This is the bird seed that I got at Walmart, but I didn't have it in my haul. It was still in the car. Hang on, let me get some scissors. I'll put in this one. These are all mini, like, twigs and stickers and three musketeers. And then the Hershey miniatures, and I lost a whole bunch because of the bag flopped over and a bunch of them went everywhere. Uh, I don't know where they all went. Somewhere. Oh, there's one back there. And there's one back here. but not least we'll open this guy I don't think I could fit another another bag in there. So that's that. It smells really good now. All right. Um, I might do some video at the event. I don't know. We shall see. Um see how creative I can be because I don't want to like film everybody but that is my video for my return trip home well my return home you'll see the return trip before this video and then this is just me returning home and trying to get everything back into order <laughs> anyway peace out and remember there are so many kind amazing beautiful people in the world you can't find one, it's your chance to be one. Take care. Bye.